Hey everyone, it's Dave from BC Bushcraft here again. And uh, today's video, I'm just going to be doing another knife. Um, I've decided that I found an old steak knife lying around and, you know, I'm kind of bored and I figured why not? I might uh, give, try my hand at uh, turning this kind of old, busted up looking steak knife and make it into kind of a fun little, you know, neck knife, nothing special, but we're going to make it sharp and we're going to reshape it and sand down the handle and make it look a little nicer than what it is. So uh, stay tuned. I thought I'd show you more of the process of kind of how I do things. So I'd figure I'd work in front of you guys instead of just talking and showing you, you know, step by step. But I do a lot of my stuff by hand. I don't have a lot of power tools. I have some, but not not too many. You know, I figure this is just a chance to like make something unique and just kind of fun. Maybe it could gut trout or something like that. <laughs> you know, I don't know how much how functional it'll be, but I'll I'll make it sure. That's for sure. All I have is a piece of eighty grit uh, sandpaper. And I'm just going to go around, sand it down, kind of see what is under all of this. You can kind of see it's bringing some color back into the handle a bit. So I finished sanding this thing down to what I wanted to, you know, I didn't get too crazy with it. The color of this is really nice, so it's going to, it's going to shine, you know, when I put some, I'm not sure, maybe I'll put olive oil on it or uh, coconut oil or something just to bring out the color in the handle but uh, I'm going to now I'm going to take the hacksaw and I'm not entirely sure how big I'm going to go something like that I'll take that much off of it the vice setup I use is not bolted in <laughs> I know it's not exactly the the best way to do this, but I kind of just relocated it and I don't, you know, feel like bolting it in. So I don't really have a, a workbench entirely set up yet where I'm going to, you know, bolt that into. This is just a kind of picnic bench that was brought inside. So, but what I'm going to do anyways, uh, is just take my hacksaw now and then cut through. So I actually found the original one that uh, my fiance's granddad had made. And this is kind of what he did with the knife that gave me the idea to try it uh, myself. So I found one that was lying around that's very similar. And you can see that he went for a little bit of a longer blade, but he didn't profile the edge too much. But still pretty cool. You know, gave me the idea. You can see it's quite quite weathered, quite old. So uh, the next step in this guy is to make make the edge. And what I need to do is just put it in a vise like so, and then take my file and then grind this down. So it's just... I see what I'm going for. So yeah, there you go. I'm not done, obviously, <laughs> but it doesn't take much effort to grind that out. And you know, I might maybe I'll grind this this thing too. Okay. So that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. This more looks like something that you would sh shave your beard with or something. <laughs> Maybe that's what I need, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to bring this up, take this point out a bit, make it more like a knife. And obviously this knife's not going to be that strong. It, you know, it's just, it's, it's a steak knife, right? So, but it's, it's just fun to do these things and kind of practice and learn certain, you know, different skills. Yeah, you know, more looking like a knife. 
getting the general shape. Sometimes I actually just don't even use the vise. And I just shape it like this to get more of a belly. Okay, so now I have more of the shape that I want with this knife. You can kind of see it's more of a, I don't know, drop point or something like that. It's looking pretty cool. So all I'm going to be trying to do now is uh, putting an edge onto it, you know, cleaning it up, cleaning up these, I think these, it's rust on here, honestly, even though it's stainless steel. So all I really do when I'm putting an edge on something like this is I just start off with a file and I kind of just start my, you know, getting the reasonable edge and just checking with the light and seeing where I need to file more and where um, in places that it's good. I just use a file like this and I don't know, it works for me. I had filed it down and I have a pretty decent uh, edge on the knife right there. It's like nothing to be, you know, too crazy about. It's all I can really do with, with the file. Like I don't even think I can cut the, oh, I can kind of cut paper. Not very well. Anyways, you can see it, it kind of, it's getting to the point where it's cutting paper. So we're starting, starting to cut paper a little bit. So I finished putting an edge on here and as you can see my bench gets messier and messier. <laughs> but I went and uh, did a few passes on my diamond sharpener and then I used a strop on it and it's now razor sharp. And I know that on YouTube, everyone has to cut hairs with it. So there we go. I can cut hairs with it <laughs> pretty, pretty easily. It's not that hard to get a knife to be able to like take your hairs off like that. It's basically when you strop it, that's when you get, you know, that razor edge type of thing. And I just thought of something that maybe I'll put a spine on here to see if it can throw sparks. Because we all know that if you have a bushcraft knife, it has to throw sparks on its spine, right? So there's a lot better ways to file that instead of just holding it. <laughs> but let's test this out. I'll bring you over to my, I have most of my stuff in my bag at the moment. So, uh, not that pocket. Here we go. My ferro rod. Let's test this out. That wood that I have found, huge chunk of it. Show you the power of fatwood too while I'm at it. I highly recommend this stuff if you can find it, if it's in your location. This should throw sparks. Yep. Ta da! Hopefully, that doesn't set a smoke alarm off. So there you go. All that from steak knife. So for the last stage of this knife, I'm just gonna rub a bit of coconut oil that I got on. Uh, I decided, what the hell, I'm just gonna use it and give it a bit of a stain with the coconut oil. You can use olive oil too, linseed oil, whatever. Um, coconut oil brings out some of the natural grains into it. <clears throat> it kind of makes it look 
you know, it will bring out the color. So I've totally out. finished this knife off and it turned out really nice. I can see the color in the handle came out really good. I added a few extra little touches to it. I put some jimping here with just the corner of a file just to for a little bit of a thumb <clears throat> grip there. And, you know, it feels really comfortable. Uh, I made this, finished it off a few weeks ago, and I've been kind of carrying it around the house, cutting vegetables and fruit <laughs> and stuff like that with it. it. seems like what this knife excels at is, you know, just slicing up small things. I could see it being really good at, like, gut and trout and stuff like that. So it was a fun project to do and just something where you can learn, you know, a few skills and get used to doing things hands-on and things like that. And I also added this little uh, sheath that it's half of a old sheath. It's just like a plastic sheath for a, a knife that I used to have. And I made a slit. I tried to make a slit for a belt, but I ended up just putting this, this kind of ring on it that you can clip and unclip. And I can clip this onto my belt or onto my bag or onto anywhere that I uh, choose to. And the knife just kind of slides in here. The knife just slides in there with a bit of retention. So it, it's actually just held in really sturdy just by the force of the plastic squeezing down on it. So it's, it's kind of cool to have a little sheath with this thing too. So yeah, this is how it turned out overall. Put a few scratches on it <laughs> already from use and it's just a fun little, I don't know, I guess it's a pairing knife or something like that. Anyways, I hope you really like this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, lots more things coming up and hope you have a good one.